and my friend, the, the drug smuggler, the drug called smuggler me. Got, he, he called me. He got saved. Him and his wife that's met what, the Lord. Yeah. And uh, so he calls one late one night and said, Lenny, said, I got saved and I'm going to heaven and I want you to be there with me. Are you saved? And I went. You didn't even know what it meant, right? Didn't know what it meant. And I thought just when things were going good, you know. <laughs> um, I was not looking for God. God was the last thing on my radar screen. Huh. But, you know, odd, odd things happened along the way. And a year before that, I sang on Amy Grant's first record. Okay. I wasn't even a believer. I just did it as a favor for a friend. And I remember those songs, you know, those were probably seeds that God used in my oh. life, you know. Oh. Just listening to those songs and singing them. Um, so anyway, yeah, <clears throat> I um, started reading the Bible. He sent me a Bible. This buddy in Florida? Yeah, my, my friend sent me a Bible, and I started reading it for the first time. And I began to ask God if he was really real, if this was all real, you know, because it was the 70s. You know, God's a tree. You go out in the woods and pray to a tree, that's God, you know. <laughs> it's like weird stuff, you know, weird things happen in the 70s. And so I said, God, is all this stuff true? Did you really die on this cross and really raise from the dead, you know? And, Holy Spirit just began to reveal himself to me right there in my house. It was like my heart began to change. I started to mm. see things different. I walked out on the front porch and I looked across the street and I said, those trees have never looked that green. 